Good morning and welcome. This is part of the Audit Control Governance Risk and Compliance Series 1. As part of this series, we will be covering 11 areas. The details are as shown. Welcome. This is part of the series on Audit Control Governance Risk and Compliance Series 1. As part of this series, today we will be going through GRC in the IT sector space. Welcome. Let's start the journey. The information and technology sector plays a critical role in shaping the modern digital landscape, facilitating business operation, data management, and communication worldwide. However, as technology advances, organizations face increasing challenges related to governance, risk management, and compliance. Proper implementation of GRC framework ensures that IT companies operate ethically, manage risk effectively, and adhere to regulatory requirements. This series explores the significance of GRC in IT sector, the associated challenges, and the best practice for effective implementation. Governance in IT sector refers to the framework of policy, procedure, and decision-making mechanism that guides an organization's use of technology. Effective governance ensures that IT strategies align with business objectives, foster accountability, and promote transparency. Key components of IT governance. Strategic alignment. It's about ensuring that IT initiative align with business goals to maximize value creation. From a risk management perspective, it is about identifying and mitigating technological risk such as data breaches, cyber threats, and system failures. From a regulatory compliance perspective, adhering to legal and regulatory standards, including data protection laws, cybersecurity framework, and industry-specific regulations. From a performance monitoring perspective, it's about evaluating IT investment, tracking system efficiencies, and implementing continuous improvements. From an ethical use of technology perspective, it's about establishing policies that governs the ethical use of data, artificial intelligence, and any new emerging technologies. Risk management in IT involves identifying, assessing, and mitigating risk that could impact an organization's technological infrastructure and business continuity. With the increasing reliance on digital platforms, effective risk management is critical to safeguarding sensitive data, preventing cyber threats and ensuring system resilience. Let's now look at a few of the risks in the sector. From a cyber security risk perspective, threats from hackers, malware, ransomware and phishing attacks that can compromise the data security is one of the primary risks today. Risk arising from system failures, software bugs and IT infrastructure disruption is categorized as operational risk. The risk of legal or regulatory penalties due to non-compliance with data protection and cybersecurity law comes under compliance risk. Risk associated with outsourcing IT services including Vulnerabilities in cloud computing and supply chains is categorized as third-party risk. The risk of unauthorized access, data breaches, and improper handling of personal information is known as data privacy risk. Risk arising from outdated softwares and hardwares that no longer meet the security and performance requirement are categorized as technology obsolescence risk. Risk management framework for ITs are many. I picked up four. Let's look at them. ISO 27001. It's a widely recognized standard for information security management system or ISMS that provides guidelines for risk assessment and mitigation. The NIST cybersecurity framework. It's a framework developed by National Institute of Standards and Technologies, which is NIST to help organization manage and reduce cyber security risk. Control objectives for information and related technology, also known as COBIT. It's a governance and risk management framework that aligns IT with business objective and regulatory requirements. ERM or also known as enterprise risk management. It's a holistic approach to managing risk across an organization's IT operations. Compliance in IT refers to adhering to laws, regulations and industry standards that govern data protection, cybersecurity and 
ethical technology use. Compliance is essential to avoid legal penalties, maintaining customer trust and prevent any financial losses. From com compliance perspective, there are areas in IT sector that need to be looked at. Starting off with data protection and privacy regulation. Compliance with laws such as the GDPR or the General Data Protection Regulation, the California Consumer Privacy Act or CCPA and the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, are required to be compliant with. This ensures or safeguards the user data. Under the cyber security regulations, adhering to cyber security standards such as the Federal Information Security Management Act or FISMA and Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards or PCIDSS to protect financial transactions and sensitive data are required to be compliant with. From a software licensing compliance perspective, ensuring that software applications are used according to the licensee agreement to avoid any legal consequences. This is one of the most sensitive part of operations in the IT sector. From a cloud computing compliance perspective, meeting security and regulatory requirement when using cloud service provider, including compliance to ISO 27017 and ISO 27018 is required to be factored in as part of operation and need to be compliant today as more and more services are moving to cloud. Artificial, from an artificial intelligence and ethics compliance perspective, ensuring responsible AI development, bias-free algorithm and adherence to ethical AI guidelines is a need of the hour. Let's now look at the challenges in compliance for IT sector. Rapid technological advancements lets, leads to continuous changing regulations, making compliance a moving target. This is under the evolving regulatory landscapes area an extremely complex space if the organization is based in multiple location across the geography and with changing regulations in one geography can have a cascading impact on all the others as the business are all interlinked multinational it companies must comply with different laws across jurisdiction adding complexity to compliance support increasing cyber attacks and data breaches require constant update to compliance strategy that's under the data security threat area small and medium sized it enterprise may struggle with cost and expertise required for compliance hence Resource constraint is a major, major challenge. Ensuring that external vendors and party partners comply with IT security and data protection regulation is a major pain point as more and more services are outsourced. Ensuring they are in compliance to all the rules and regulations across geography is a major area of concern which requires a huge investment of time and energy. Let's now look at some of the best practices for effective GRC implementation in the IT sector. The first is establishing a strong governance framework. In this, it's about developing clear policies and guidelines for IT governance, assigning responsibilities to governance committee and IT leadership, ensuring IT governance aligns with corporate strategy and risk management initiatives. From an implementing robust risk management strategy perspective, it's about conducting a regular risk assessment to identify vulnerabilities in IT infrastructure, using penetration testing and threat intelligence tool to mitigate cybersecurity risk, establishing a crisis management plan to address data breach and system failures. From an enhancing compliance program perspective, it's about maintaining an up-to-date compliance checklist based on regulatory requirements, investing in compliance automation tool to streamline monitoring and reporting, conducting regular compliance audits and employee training on regulatory policies. From leveraging technologies for GRC, it's about AI-driven risk assessment tool can detect anomalies, enhance threat detection and improve decision making. Hence, using AI and ML helps in the overall process of GRC. This is something which is acknowledged by all the leading firms and hence that's a path of for future. Using blockchain technology, it enhances transparency and ensures secure transaction and record code keeping. From a cloud security perspective, it's about implementing security protocol for cloud-based system to prevent data breaches and unauthorized access. The next is strengthening the third party risk management. It's about implementing vendor risk assessment framework to evaluate third party security and compliance requires suppliers and partners to adhere to security certifications such as SOC 2. It's about establishing service level agreement or SLAs that outline compliance responsibilities. The next is about promoting a culture of cyber security awareness. It's about conducting regular cyber security awareness training for employees, implementing multi-factor authentic authentication and strong access control to protect sensitive data. It's about encouraging employee to report security incident promptly. The seventh 
it's about continuous monitoring and improvement in this it's about use of security information and event management also known as sime tools to monitor real time threats regularly update it security policies to align with new risk and compliance requirements engage with regulatory authorities and industry bodies to stay ahead of compliance trend in conclusion governance risk and compliance in the it sector are essential for managing technological risk ensuring regulatory adherence and fostering ethical business practice effective governance structure enhances decision making and accountability robust risk management frameworks mitigate potential threats and strong compliance mechanism prevent regulatory infractions as cyber threat and data privacy concerns continue to evolve it organization must implement proactive grc strategies leverage technology driven solutions and promote a culture of cyber security awareness by doing so they can safeguard their digital assets maintain stakeholder trust and achieve sustainable growth in an increasingly complex regulatory environment thanks for been with me till now so as part of the audit control governance risk and compliance series 1 we have covered 10 chapters namely the introduction we have covered history on banking we have covered regulators in banking then we went through governance risk and compliance area we have touched based on audit controls then we moved into the sector for banking wherein we looked at grc in banking sector and now we have cleared the grc in it sector space thank you very much appreciate it let's now move to the next chapter and complete the series thank you